Hey mister, you've got some branches stuck on your head. What? Oh, these aren't branches they're antlers. Oh, sorry, you've got some antlers stuck on your head. No, they're not stuck on my head. They're attached to my skull. Jeez, how do ya do that? What do you mean, I didn't attach them to my skull myself. They grow from my head naturally, I'm a deer, they're literally part of my body. But, she's also deer, and she doesn't have any antlers. She's right, Charlie. Not helping Lindsay. She doesn't have antlers, because she's a girl. Only boy deer have antlers. Well, he's a boy deer, and he doesn't have any antlers. She's right again, Charlie. Shut up Bradley. You guys are the worst. I'm out to here. Don't worry farm bird. He's just cranky because of the branches stuck to his head. They're not branches. Stay frosty boys. I'm picking up a bogey on my radar. Roger that. Yep. We've got a hostile. Homing musky inbound. Evasive maneuvers. Back to the carrier. Enemy neutralized. Your kids are weird. Shut up Lindsay. Hello everyone. Ah, a T-Rex. Run away. Everyone's terrified of me. I wish they'd just give me a chance. If they'd just get to know me they might. Who am I kidding? I'm never gonna have any friends. Hey there. Don't be sad. I'll be your friend. Huh. Really? Aren't you, you know, afraid of me? Well, you may look a bit intimidating, but you can't judge a book by its cover. It's what's on the inside that counts. And everyone deserves a chance at friendship. Everybody hates me. Or, oh, animals are so cute when they yawn. Yawning? Hum, worth a shot. Or, absolutely not. Well well well. Hello little red riding hood. Oh. Hello mysterious hairy stranger. What's a delicate flower like you doing out here all alone? Oh. I'm not alone, mister. What? I'm with my cousin. Humongous purple riding hood. Apparently there's some big bad wolf fella that's been preying on travelers in these woods. So, grandma insisted that cousin purple come with me. Your grandma is a smart lady. Goodness mister, what big teeth you have. Well, would you look at the time. I should really be on my way. Gotta get back to my den gap. I mean, my human house. Safe travels ladies. What a kind stranger. I do hope he doesn't run into the big bad wolf. That was the wolf you puny dumb idiot. Oh lol. Lapdog. Now, a lapdog is a dog that is small enough to comfortably sit or lie in a person's lap. This is a lapdog. This, on the other hand, is not a lapdog. And this is really not a lapdog. And this is really really not a lapdog. Somebody call an ambulance. We've got to stop meeting like this. Swiper. I'll be taking that briefcase. Swiper, you don't have to do this. My contract says otherwise. You have any idea what this is? Do you know what they'll do if they get their hands on it? Don't know. Don't care. They're not paying me to ask questions. Please, just listen to me. Enough talking. Give it to me. Now, or this is gonna get real messy. What? What's so funny? They aren't the only ones that hired some extra help. Swiper. No swiping. Or man. Whoa. Yo, this is awesome. I can fly. Exhilarating, isn't it? Wait, can't vampires turn into bats? A common misconception. We can actually transform into many different creatures. 
Including bats though, right? Well, yes, but it takes much practice to get the right animal. Change back, change back. You should've changed back. I didn't know how to. The African Lion. This large male sits at a vantage point, scanning his territory like a mighty ruler surveying his land. Just look at him, sitting there like he's all that. Excuse me? I mean, how arrogant must you be to call yourself king of the jungle? Hey, listen pal, you're lucky you're a disembodied voice otherwise I'd show you why I'm called that. Otherwise I'd show you why I'm called that. Oh, I'm shaking in my disembodied boots. You don't even live in the... I don't live in the jungle, I live in the savannah. Is that what you're gonna say? Oh gee, what a clever and original observation. I've never heard that one before. Yeah, that's right. You're real quiet now. I got you in a box. A tiger could totally kick your ass. They look cooler too. Shut up. Things that make dudes feel manly. 1. Being in the woods. Welp, I guess I'll just go here. I'm one with nature. 2. Helping mommy carry in the groceries. Hey honey, can you get the rest by yourself? Easy. My hero. 3. Any physical work without a shirt on. Come on. Almost got it. Pesky weed, that'll teach you to mess with my tulip garden. 4. Growing out facial hair. Oh yeah, that's growing in nicely. Oh no, the capybara does not see the jaguar. Don't worry capybara, I've got you. Hooray, we rescued the capybara. Good job Bamagus. Hey. What the heck Digo? Why'd you do that? Well, you were going to hurt the capybara, and that's mean. Mean. I'm a carnivore you dumb 8 year old. I literally need to kill and eat other animals to survive. Look at this. I haven't eaten for days, because you keep rescuing animals from me. I'm starving to death. Predators gotta eat too you narrow minded child. I guess I didn't think of it that way. Yeah clearly not. Oh no. They're fighting. Where's the zookeeper? Bob, the gorillas are fighting again. I'm on it. Cool. Oh, and please don't crush the walkie. How many times do I gotta tell you boys to not fight in front of the visitors? We get it. I can lilf heavy stuff. Get over yourself. Does he really think that looks good? He looks like a veeny balloon animal. It's disgusting. Hey. What's your problem dude? Ah. How would you like it if he secretly mocked you for being skinny? Well, okay, but does he really need to pose and flex in the mirror? Does an artist really need to hang up their painting to look at? Or does a gardener really need to enjoy the sight and smell of their flower garden? He's put himself through years of grueling exercise and strict diet control to obtain such a physique. Shouldn't he be proud of his accomplishments? Dang. I guess you're right. Wait, so not only do fairies exist, but some are specifically tasked with defending buff dudes from body shaming? Well, I don't just defend buff dudes, I criticize them as well. Like filthy punks who skip leg day. Nice to see you again, Dora, but I've got business to attend. What happened to you, Digo? How can you, of all people, do something like this? Haha, ha. it's simple, really. I grew up, learned the real money wasn't in saving them, but selling them. I've got a buyer in the states ready to pay 50 grand for this kitty alone. I make more in one year selling exotic pets than I ever did in conservation. Since when was it about the money? You loved animals. After everything you've done for them. Exactly. After everything I've done for them, I devoted my life to protecting animals. And how do they repay me? I'm letting you go this time, cousin. 
but interfere with my business again, and I swear I'll give you cicatrices even worse than mine. Cicatrices mean scars in Spanish. Can you say cicatrices?